Once upon a time, there was a young monk named Kojiro who lived in a Buddhist monastery. He was a diligent student and a devout practitioner, but he had a one weakness. He was obsessed with getting attention. Kojiro would do anything to be the center of attention. He would dress in bright robes, talk loudly, and perform elaborate rituals. He would even go so far as to interrupt his teachers during their lectures. One day, Kojiro's master, Zen Master Hoshin, called him into his private chambers. Kojiro, said the master, I have noticed that you have been begging for attention lately. This is not the way of a Buddhist monk. A true monk should seek enlightenment, not attention. Kojiro was ashamed. He knew that his master was right. But how do I stop begging for attention? He asked. It is simple, said the master. You must empty your cup. Kojiro was confused. What do you mean? He asked. You are like a cup full of water, said the master. You are so full of your own desires and ambitions that there is no room for anything else. To be filled with the wisdom of the Buddha, you must first empty your cup. Kojiro thought about this for a long time. He realized that his master was right. He was so full of his own desires that there was no room for anything else. How can I empty my cup? he asked. Meditation is the key, said the master. When you meditate, you focus on the present moment and let go of all your thoughts and desires. As you continue to meditate, you will gradually empty your cup and become more open to the wisdom of the Buddha. Kojiro began to meditate diligently. At first, it was difficult to let go of his thoughts and desires, but with practice, he became better at it. After a few months, Kojiro had emptied his cup. He was no longer obsessed with getting attention. He was content to simply be. One day, Kojiro was meditating in the garden when he saw a beautiful butterfly flutter by. He watched the butterfly for a long time, and he realized that it was completely content in the present moment. It was not begging for attention or trying to impress anyone. It was simply being. Kojiro smiled. He realized that he had finally learned the true meaning of the Buddha's teachings. He had emptied his cup and become one with the universe. Morale of the story. When we are constantly seeking attention, we are closing ourselves off to the true wisdom and beauty of the world around us. We are also creating unnecessary suffering for ourselves. The best way to find happiness and fulfillment is to empty our cups and focus on the present moment. When we do this, we open ourselves up to the infinite possibilities that life has to offer.